DC, what do you think when you hear this word? Well, some of you think about your childhood, and some of you sing your favorite songs to yourself, and some of you even think about last Saturday night, how instead of new horror movie, you watch Beauty and the Beast all over again. No, only me. Never mind that. I don't even care, since Disney have inspired millions of kids from all over the world. And not only kids, even adults. Let's take a look at our favorite princesses. Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, they made us believe that tr dreams will always come true. And Mulan and Merida show that women can do as much as men, while Pocahontas reminded us about colors of the wind, and Elsa and Anna showed that true love is everywhere. It all seems perfect, right? Well, at the beginning of the year, our Minister of Education mentioned some old fairy tales and how they influence kids in a bad way. I didn't care much. I mean, I never liked the stories. But it caught my attention when he mentioned how old fairy tales influence kids to hate stepmothers. Immediately, some of my favorite cartoons came to mind, such as Snow White or Cinderella, even though he was talking about national fairy tales. As you already can see, I'm a huge fan of Disney, and I really didn't like the idea that it can have bad influence on kids. In addition, it wasn't the first time I've heard criticism of these cartoons. On YouTube, you can see a lot of videos like that, how Disney influences kids to hate stepmothers, or how it teaches us awful lesson. But I never have taken them seriously. I mean, most of them were comedy sketches from Buzzfeed or College Humor. But now, when even Minister of Education mentioned it, I became much more intrigued with the subject. Therefore, I decided to make a little research. To answer my questions, I talked to biggest Disney fans in the world. And no, I didn't talk to myself. I went to kids. They answered almost all of my questions, but before we jump straight to conclusion, let's talk about the issues that are found in Disney movies. These are always evil stepmother, some historical and cultural offenses, main ideas in some cartoons, and the appearance of almost every character. Stepmother. I think this one is pretty obvious. Almost every Disney character had unstable family background. Usually, main villain is stepmother, eventually punished for their mistake. What people say is that cartoons should not teach young generation to hate stepmothers. At some point, I understand this. 41% of first marriages end in divorce, and it's always hard for both child and a stepmother to find common language. People think that cartoons like that make it even harder for a child to adapt to new circumstances. But I'm not sure about that. Did all of you think that stepmother is some kind of monster? I certainly did not. And the fact that there are some cartoons where adoptive parents are kind even helps to form my ideas about adoptive parents and stepmothers in general. I wanted to make sure that other children think the same way. That's why I talk to children. I ask them why did they think uh, the Queen, Lady Truman, or Mother Gothel is evil? Well, at first, they got a little confused. I mean, what do you expect from a three-year-old child? But later, they gave me a perfect answer. They say that these characters are simply villains of the story, like um, Ursula from Little Mermaid and Jafar from Aladdin. Kids understand that these characters, the fact that they are evil, has nothing to do with the fact that they are stepmothers. Now let's go to historical and cultural inaccuracies. I personally don't understand why would anyone criticize the cartoon over history mistakes, but people certainly do. Let's take a look at some of the examples. 
Mulan has been criticized for its unrealistic kung fu and for wrongly portraying some characters, such hence since they are described as crazy barbarians who destroys everything on their way. Hercules. Everyone knows that this cartoon is, is based on Greek mythology. What you don't know that it lets out the part where Hercules kills his wife Megara and their three children. Aladdin. Aladdin had some history mistakes as well as some cultural offenses. For example, architecture looks much more like Indian than actual Arabian. Also, the outfit of Jasmine is completely inappropriate and wrongly portrayed, since pre-Islamic Arabia was a modest society where women used to wear shapeless and loose clothes. Pocahontas. What could be wrong with her? She's almost perfect. Well, thing is, Turned out, Pocahontas it was a real person, although her story is much more tragic than the one that Disney have showed us. Her story is with early marriage, loss of child, death of husband, kidnapping, rape, death at the age of 21. Well, this story is much more sad than the one that Disney have told us with talking animals and singing trees. So yes. Disney have made a lot of history mistakes. So what? Why do we care? It's a cartoon. It's supposed to amuse children and not teach them history. It's not a documental movie. Well, I promise we're done with boring lecture now. And let's go to the next topic, which is main ideas in some of the stories. When Disney first came on the market, gender equality wasn't a big thing. Uh, in European countries, women didn't even have rights to vote. And that's when these cartoons came out. Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, they do nothing to change their own fate. I mean, Aurora literally slips the whole movie. And what lesson do they teach young girls? As long as you're beautiful, you don't have to do anything. Well, except for finding a wealthy man who will solve all your problems. Thing is, these princesses represent general stereotype of women of that period. Most of them are the white skinned with rosy cheeks. They have miniature body. They cook, cook, clean houses, and they're typical perfect women of that century. Same thing happens in Little Mermaid. Um, in these cartoons, there are ideas such as fall in love with a guy after knowing him for two minutes. Physical appearance is much more important than your personality. Sign a contract without, with an evil witch without even reading it. That's not so clever. Same thing happens in almost every other cartoon. The, their love story is almost never based on long-term relationships. We have, also, we have to consider also another factor, which is age. All of them. And I mean all of them. We are teenagers. Just... <laughs> Jasmine was 15 years old. Um, Jasmine was 15 years old. Um, and Snow White was 14 when she got married. And when I was growing up, I really thought that when I turned 16, I would be an adult. Do you think I'm an adult now? Hell no. I mean, look at me. I'm on a stage talking about cartoons, and I'm already 15. Certainly not thinking about marriage anytime soon. Disney has been making up for its mistakes. I mean, in cartoons such as Moana and Brave, they don't have love interests at all, and girls are main heroes of their stories. And in 2013 movie Frozen, Elsa literally says, you can't marry a man you just met. Appearance of the characters. People have been criticizing Barbie for decades for its unrealistic body structure. And why do we think this is any better? Well, let's take a look at Jasmine. 
She's stunning, gorgeous, amazing, beautiful. Thing is, that's how she looked in the actual movie. I mean, her waistline is literally the size of her neck. And other characters don't look any better. This is especially scary if you imagine them as real humans. That's what BuzzFeed did when they photoshopped real humans into Disney princesses. And the results are scary. And even scarier now when a huge percent of the population have eating disorders. Only in USA, 8 million people suffer from anorexia and bulimia. Me, being really concerned about this topic, went to kindergarten and asked them some questions. So when I asked, who was as beautiful as Disney princess? One of the girls jumped up and screamed, I am, I am as beautiful as Disney princess. Well, first of all, this is really confident. At their age, I didn't have even half of that self-esteem. But that's when I realized, Children don't see these characters as unhealthy or unrealistic or scary. They simply see beautiful and aspiring young girls. So stop overanalyzing everything. Yes, Disney have made some mistakes. Yes, there are historical and cultural inaccuracies. Yes, some characters don't look realistic. And yes, there are some controversial ideas in them. So what? Nothing in this world perfect. And it seems that today's society only looks at mistakes, inaccuracies, details that doesn't even matter. I don't want to be like that. Even if it means that my whole life I'll be called childish or naive, I'm okay with it. Santa Exupery once said, all grown-ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. So try to remember your childhood. The happiness that you felt during watching the movies, the excitement that felt filled your heart when you saw their happily ever after, and amazing music that makes everything even more magical. So be happy, be positive, and believe that all of your dreams will come true.